Hi everybody, it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. Welcome to another tasting video, number eight from Fast Home Brew. Here we are. So, getting started today with the toasted English bitter that I made some time ago. If you uh, if you remember, I was very excited about this one, but I had to store it in the shed over summer, and it kind of ruined it. So, don't really know what to think about this. It was... Um, some of them are alright, some of them were a little bit weird, but overall, it's just a bit of a disappointment, really. Some of them pour cloudy and some clear as well, so I don't know why that is, but anyway, whatever's going on, I'm going to have to do this one again. I don't know what to think. I can't really make a comment. It got ruined. Yeah, I'll just treat it better next time. Okay, next up is Amber Ale. So this one was a quite a simple kit and kilo one, using the new um, one of the new Cooper's kits, so uh, give this one a try here. Just give it a little taste, and yeah, that's a bit boring to be honest. You know, I don't really know much about amber ale, so I can't speak too much on the style. Uh, this kid might make a good base for other things, actually. But um, yeah, I mean, if you, you, people would like it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just there's not much character, so I'll give that one one thumb for a good try. All right. Uh, oh, next up is my IPA, and this one I know is really good. So, um, the base for this was, I think, really simple. It was just 95% of ale, and then 5% of some crystal. And, um, yeah, that one's a winner. It's got the Nelson Hop, single hop, Nelson Hop IPA, and that one's a river. The only thing is, though, that it's not exactly IPA-ish in its aroma, because I don't think I put enough hops in. It was only less than three grams a litre, so I can't quite give it two thumbs. I'm trying, but no, I'll just give it one for not quite getting there. All right, what do we got here? Dinner's cooking, vegetables are all chopped. Oh, I think I'll have a beer. Yes, here we go. This is an English bitter-based porter made from the Cooper's English Bitter Kit, and this is awesome. And check out the... Hang on. Purple? That's weird. Um... I assure you that that was red in real life, but for some reason on the video it's come through purple. But anyway, this, you got to make this recipe, but if you do, I mean when you do, do yourself a favour and give it time to age. It, it, you know, I had one at nine months once and it was just brilliantly orgasmic. But, here we go, I've got, uh, this is the Cooper's um, Pale, uh, American Pale kit, I think it's called Bootmaker or something, and the one on the left is the one that I made normal. One on the right, I added some hops to to see how it would go as a bit of an experiment. So they're actually a sort of different colour to look at, but hold them up to the light, they're kind of the same. So I guess the hops makes a little difference to colour. So, um, well, I, oh, Jane has tipped his bananas out. The thing about this one was that I transferred it between fermenters a couple of times, and I think I kind of made it a little bit stale. So this one here tastes a bit stale. This one tastes a little bit fresher. That's the one with the hops in, so I guess the hops have added some freshness to it, so that one's good. But, I don't know. It wouldn't be fair to rate this one properly, so I'll just say that it, again, would probably be a really good base. Like, adding hops was really nice, but, um, yeah, with, with what I did with the oxidization or whatever, eh, it's, a again, a little bit boring, this one. You know, compare it to the gold standard of the Cooper's English Bitter Kit, and it's, it's no good. So, anyway, finally, good news story. It's my smash. This is my second Vienna smash, and this one's made with Sars hops. The first one was Pride of Ringwood. That was rubbish. Uh, and, yes, it's just a winner. This one's good. The Vienna malt has a very honey-ish -y character to it. I'm sure there's probably a real word for that, so if someone wants to look it up. Honey-ish-y uh, but yeah, it's just great. That's an awesome beer. So, drum roll, two thumbs up. Yeah, very good. All right. Well, that's about all I got time for today. So, thank you for watching the video. Unfortunately, Tyson's going to leave us now. He's come to the end of his holiday, so we might not see him for a little while. But anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Tell all your friends. Uh, hire a plane to write in the sky. Fast home brew. Good job.